Today is March 19th, 2019. I'm Brent Nally, and this is a three-month update of my mesenchymal stem cell treatment that I had in Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico at Dream Body Clinic on December 20th, 2018. If you haven't seen any of my treatment videos or any of the other updates that I've done, then you can check the description below in my MSC playlist. So I had a one month update and a two month update. If you've been following my progress, I was a little discouraged at the two month mark because I didn't feel like I was getting the results that I was expecting from the massive amount of research that I did throughout 2018 on MSCs and the quick responses that I felt people who were much older than me were getting for not necessarily as chronic as musculoskeletal conditions because there were a lot of shorter term acute injuries that people had broken um, something or just sprained something. And so now I'm happy to report at three months, I'm doing so much better, dramatically better. My right ankle in particular, which has been what I believe what's caused my right knee and my lower back a little bit to have these problems over the last eight to 10 years, my right ankle is doing so much better. So if you haven't been following my story, I had a third degree ankle sprain when I was 20 years old. I just turned 34 on March 16th, three days ago. And so basically for the last 14 years, I've just kind of been dealing with this right ankle problem. If you're not familiar with how ankle sprains work, first degree and second degree are pretty painful, but you can generally walk after that. You might have some black and blue soreness um, but for a third degree ankle sprain like I had in my right ankle when I was 20, it was black and blue all the way up to my shins and all the way down to my toes. It was horrible. I was on crutches for three weeks and I was just a dumb 20 year old. I didn't get the proper physical therapy. I just thought that it would heal because I'd had many other first and second degree ankle sprains in both ankles many times growing up playing basketball. And so basically over the last 14 years, it just kind of progressively got worse and I never had the proper treatment. So I did a lot of research last year on mesenchymal stem cells for other anti-aging purposes that you might be familiar with. And finally, I feel like I've turned a huge corner. I'm really excited. Yay for me. Yay for my wife for believing in me and sticking with me. Thank you, Dream Body Clinic, Josh Kettner, Dr. Alfaro, everybody else involved. Thank you, Cryovita, who is the company that supplied the umbilical cord, Wharton's jelly fluids that were sent to Dream Body Clinic. There's information that I've shared on all of my other videos about MSCs, so check the description below if you're curious about the process that they go through for screening the women who are pregnant on if they're you know, diseased or not and things like that and check the process for a dream body clinic I had an amazing experience with them no gripes about that but I was a little discouraged about a month ago when I wasn't getting quite the results I was expecting so I'd say my right ankle is about 90% better than it was three months ago and this is subjective it's anecdotal it's hard to tell I have a huge regret. Josh, the owner of Dream Body Clinic, told me that I should do an MRI on my right ankle, knee, and shoulder, and I declined in order to save a little extra money, and I thought, ah, eh, I know what's wrong with my right knee, ankle, and shoulder. And I wish now that I would have done that MRI, so I'd encourage you, if you are looking into doing a treatment like this, uh, I'd encourage you to do the MRI for two reasons. Number one is I've furthered my research watching the Healing Miracle documentary series and researching online about MSCs. I see that there is a very specific location where an injury may occur that we can see on the MRI so they can more target that location. And so for me, the doctor, Dr. Alfaro, was really just doing the best that she could when she was injecting my right knee, ankle, and shoulder. So. Um, MRI, highly recommend it. And then also, right now, all we really have for this YouTube channel is my anecdotal experience. And so you're just gonna have to kind of trust me on the internet, but I'm doing my best to be transparent and build trust. 
I spent a lot of money personally on this treatment. You know, everything's relative when it comes to money. Um, so you just have to make a financial decision if this is something that makes sense for you. And I made the decision that I want to nip this problem in the butt while I'm only 33 years old at the time and see if I can get back to full health in my ankle, knee, shoulder, and musculoskeletal condition. And also, you know, I did the IV to hopefully clear out my lungs and my heart and any other organs that those MSCs might have gone to just for internal uh, anti-aging and youth purposes. And I'm very happy with that decision. I have lots of great energy, but what I wanna talk about now in this video is other things that I've been doing over the last three months in my lifestyle, which does tie into other videos that I'll be making about ways that you can improve your life with anti-aging uh, treatments that are basically free and, and just lifestyle in general. But I wanna make sure that everybody knows that I don't recommend spending all the money, time, energy to go to a place like Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico, which is beautiful, getting this treatment done, but then not living a healthy lifestyle. Because what I've learned is that intermittent fasting will help your body produce more of its own MSCs and will also help you produce uh, better MSCs. They'll replicate faster. So as I'm standing here right now, I'm on a 45 hour fast right now. So I haven't had any calories in 45 hours and I'm planning to get to 72 hours. I try to do a 45 hour fast about every two months or so. And the last 72 hour fast that I did was in early September when I was in London about to head out to Rome. So every six months, I wanna try and do a 72 hour fast. It's very early in the intermittent fasting research days. This research is exploding all the time. So it's really difficult to say who should be doing how much amount of fasting. I think it's, I think it's gonna end up depending on your age and your overall health and um, how you're, if you have any chronic diseases, things like that. But for me, based off my research, I've just made a determination that about every two months, I wanna do about a 44, 45, 48 hour fast, something like that, about two days. And then every six months, I wanna do a 72 hour fast. The reason for this is it basically reboots your entire immune system. It kills off any old or damaged or senescent uh, cells in your immune cells and stem cells. So your MSCs, white blood cells, T cells, things like that, that are dead or close to dying, it will completely kill those out. And then it triggers new pathways within your body to create these new white blood cells, T cells, and MSCs and other things as well that we probably don't know about yet to regenerate and have those come in youthful and young and feeling great. So more on that in other videos, but I just wanna say that I'm doing intermittent fasting every day, at least 16 hours, but on average about 18 to 20 hours every day, and that is helping produce more and healthy stem cells on a daily basis to help my body heal. I'm also doing a lot of exercises a lot throughout the day. So I'm doing them every morning when I wake up and sometimes in the afternoon and evening, but every day I'm doing these exercises at least once a day. In my month two MSC update, I did show these exercises around the middle part of the video. If you're fast forwarding through there, you can see it's when I was outside with the beautiful view in the background. So look for that and you can see specifically those exercises I was doing. Also, I'll have a link in the description below about some of the exercises I've done, particularly with the rock floss. It's a red tape and you can see specifically those exercises I'm doing on my knee and my ankle every single day. If you're curious and you have a chronic musculoskeletal condition that you're trying to heal as well. So, I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you so much to Dream Body Clinic and Josh Kettner. You guys are incredible. Definitely follow them on Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can go to their website, see all the information. It's all in the description below here in this video. Comment below if you have any questions, feedback, if you're thinking about doing something like this for yourself. I'm here to help, no strings attached. Thank you so much to my good and amazing friend, Dr. Brandon Thomas. I also have a video that you'll have in the link below from my YouTube channel of the sports chiropractic treatment that he's been giving me over the last five weeks or so that has really helped me turn a corner. So I've been getting treatment from him every Monday for the last five weeks, I believe, and that's really, really helped. That's where I saw a lot of improvement. 
but it's anecdotal. It's hard to tell if that is what did it alone without this MSC and my own PRP treatment. I've also been using the Grateful Dudes Healing Hemp Balm for the last four to five weeks on my right ankle, knee, and shoulder, and some other places as well. It says here that the ingredients are all natural, coconut oil infused with industrial hemp, shea butter, beeswax, olive oil, peppermint. So all natural, a few other things in there, all natural. And then its uses, its uses are for anti-inflammatory relief for joints, muscles, arthritis, cramps, and you can also apply to temples for migraines, headaches, and dry skin, things like that. I think this stuff is incredible. Other things that I've been doing to improve my health that may have contributed to my healing has been cold showers. I've been taking really cold showers, as cold a setting as possible, on my shower for the last three months approximately since I've done this treatment. And I will be doing a video on this if you're unfamiliar, if this sounds crazy. It's all over the internet, all over YouTube. There's people who have been doing cold showers for years to improve circulation, all sorts of positive benefits. If you're not familiar with Wim Hof, I'll have a link in the description below. He's also known as the Iceman. This person is absolutely incredible, and he is the person who has primarily started this cold shower revolution. I've also taken a little break from dodgeball since we won our championship in the tournament a couple weeks ago, which was a lot of fun. And then so we've had a couple weeks off, so I've given my shoulder a rest and I've been taking it really easy. For a while there in February, I was playing like three nights a week and I re-injured my shoulder and that was discouraging, but that was totally my fault. So that was just dumb. I'm just addicted to dodgeball because it's so much fun and great exercise. I've also been playing basketball pretty much every single Saturday and Sunday morning, and I am really improving in my endurance and my energy levels. And now that my ankle and my knee are so much more stable and basically just how they were when I was younger, my game has improved so much. It's 100% noticeable myself, and a lot of the guys I've been playing basketball with there at Saratoga High School. Shout out to the Church of Hoops guys, if anybody's watching here. Um, I've been playing with these guys for about nine years, great group of guys. A number of them have noticed that I've improved my energy and therefore my basketball game a little bit in the last few months. So I'm getting back into shape. I was traveling the world through last year, so I wasn't playing any basketball, but I gotta believe these MSCs have helped me heal as well. So that's enough for me for the MSC update. I will continue to do updates every month. These MSCs are supposed to stay inside of me for about 9 to 12 months to continue to work. So I'm hoping that I'm only going up, up, up from here and continuing to improve with my ankle, knee, and shoulder musculoskeletal injuries. So that's it for the MSC updates for now. Stay subscribed for the next update in a month on MSC. Also stay subscribed for all the amazing book reviews I'm coming out. I just released a book review on telomere lengthening earlier today. I also scheduled an interview for this upcoming Tuesday with Dr. Ed Park at his anti-aging practice down in Orange County. So my wife and I are going to hop in the car with this camera equipment and see if we can have some fun with Dr. Park and get into depth about some of the science that he's into regarding telomeres and other anti-aging hacks. He is a Harvard and University of Columbia trained doctor so you should really listen to what he has to say i'm excited for this interview if you have any questions for dr park comment below and i will read those questions to him in the interview other things that i'm excited about upcoming on my youtube channel are my viome kit which i ordered yesterday that's v-i-o-m-e there's a link in the description below if you haven't heard of this before i'm getting my microbiome which is in my gut all that bacteria tested from a stool sample and a blood sample from a kit that should arrive in about a week and hopefully I'll have those results in about five to six weeks. Once I have those results from Viome, I'll vlog on my YouTube channel about the foods that Viome believes I should specifically eat based off my stool sample and blood work and also the foods that I should be avoiding to improve my health. If you found this information valuable, if you know anybody who's looking to have a musculoskeletal surgery, whether it be back, knee, leg, any type of joint, I highly recommend that they watch this video and educate themselves about the power of mesenchymal stem cells 
and check out this information before they go in and have surgery because that's a really big decision to have surgery. I personally want to avoid surgery at all costs. I know that 10, 20, and certainly 30 years down the road after a surgery, you're going to have scar tissue built up and leads to arthritis and potentially even osteoarthritis. So I really want to avoid those things. Basically, the shots that I had with these MSCs were completely non-invasive, outpatient procedure. They prick you with a needle, you walk out, and you just don't do any exercise for two to three weeks after that. Much better than surgery. So if you are suffering from any chronic musculoskeletal conditions, from the link below, you can see Dr. Brandon Thomas's YouTube channel. He's just getting it started, but he already has some great content on there on exercises that you can do to improve specific injuries that you are experiencing. So I highly recommend you check that out. Subscribe to his channel. Click the like button on everything, of course, and he replies to all comments like I do as well. So there's your number one chiropractor in Santa Cruz, California, voted two years in a row, who will reply to any comments that you have on the internet for free. How about that for a deal? I'm also continuing to make sure that sleep is the foundation of my health. So I'm getting minimum eight hours of sleep every single day. Some nights I've even gotten nine and 10, and I think in the last month I've gotten 11 hours of sleep twice, and I've just felt like a superhuman the next day pretty much. It's pretty incredible. So if you feel like this is something that's crazy, or if you feel like this is not possible for you, then I would suggest that you develop a plan if you're interested in getting more sleep, but you just can't right now because of other life commitments that you have. Develop a plan, whether it's weeks or months or even years out to get to a point where you can make sleep the foundation of your life because it's so important for all of your body to heal and create more mesenchymal stem cells and have them be as healthy as possible so that your body can heal itself. That's when the majority of the healing is going on during your approximately eight hours of sleep. If you haven't yet, check out my review of the book, Why We Sleep, in the link below. Super helpful tips in there on how to sleep smarter, better, and more efficiently. All right, thanks everybody. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification if you haven't yet, and make sure that you comment if you have any questions. I'm here to help, and we'll see you next time.